In this tutorial, we'll be exploring the StreamYard Studio. Uh, we'll also be going live. In the previous tutorial, we created a broadcast. Now let's enter that broadcast. Every time you enter the broadcast, you'll see a tip and be given the opportunity to check your equipment and set your name. So for example, I could add test to my display name, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. Uh, and you can see if you click the settings button, that's a great way to check that your mic is working with this little volume analyzer and also check your speakers by clicking this test button. You can also check that you have the correct camera uh, selected at the resolution that you want. Now let's enter the studio. The first thing you'll see is this little notification here that you're not part of the stream yet. So if you were to go live right now, you would only see a black screen with no audio, which you don't want. So you want to make sure that you add yourself to the stream like this. We're now part of the stream. And you can also remove yourself from the stream uh, by clicking that again. Um, but again, note that this will remove your audio. So you probably just want to keep yourself uh, in the stream. Um, and you can see in the top right here that there's this view on YouTube link. So that's that link that we talked about in previous tutorials that you'll send to your viewers so that they can see what things look like on YouTube. Uh, let me share my screen so that you can actually see what that looks like. Perfect. So this is what viewers that go to that YouTube link will see. And when you go live, the stream will start here. Why don't I invite a guest so that we can explore some of the layouts and see what it looks like when you invite a guest. To do that, we'll want to use the invite button and send the link to who we want to invite. I'll be sending it to my co-founder, uh, Dan Briggs. So Dan should be joining in just a second here. Awesome, Dan is in the broadcast. And again, I need to click him to add him to the stream. So Dan's now part of the broadcast and I'll change the layout so he can get a better view of him there. Dan, how are you doing? I'm excellent. Very good. So one important thing to note and that people often get confused is they'll remove themselves from the screen or from the stream to full screen their guest. Uh, but you do not want to do that. You want to use the solo layout, otherwise you'll lose your audio. So uh, if you'll see this button here is the solo layout and I can use that to full screen Dan and you'll still be able to hear me in the background, but Dan will be highlighted there on the screen. So now let's try going live. So I'm going to hit this go live button and then you'll see I get the notification that I am live. Uh, one thing that people often don't know is that all live streams have a bit of a delay. So you'll want to make sure that you don't have, I'm using, I'm doing this right now as an example, but you'll want to make sure that you don't have the Facebook or YouTube live stream open at the same time, or else you'll both be hearing yourself twice, which is no fun. I'm just going to go over to that stream. Uh, let me actually show it on screen for you. Uh, let's do the full screen one. I'm going to go over to that stream and leave a comment so that you can see how that works. So let's just say, hey, this is a test. And why don't I show an emoji so you can see how those work as well. Perfect. Now, if I go back to the StreamYard Studio, I will go back to this view. And you can see that the comment has appeared in my comment section. And I can click it to show it on screen. And it even has my picture there, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then you just click it again to hide it. And let's walk through some of the other options we have here. Banners, which some people call lower thirds. Uh, you can type these out at any time and show them on screen as a nice call to action. So I just typed out one that says this is a test. And there you go. This is a test. Um, the branding section has all kinds of options. And this is where most of the premium StreamYard features uh, can be found. Uh, branding is free, though. So you can change your brand color to whatever your brand is. Let's say that it's that nice color there. Uh, if you're on the premium uh, version of StreamYard, you'll be able to remove this watermark and upload your own or just hide it entirely. Uh, this is our town hall watermark. Uh, another premium feature is overlays. So this is our example overlay, but you'll be able to make custom ones like this yourself, which is pretty cool. Uh, we also have the ability to play intro clips as overlays, which is pretty nifty. I'll show that at the end of this stream, but first let's check out the backgrounds. Uh, so this is a pretty subtle background, but you can make something uh, more, more, more over the top if you wanted to. Uh, lots of people like using a solid covers, uh, color, so you can show and hide those at any time. And you can also choose the show or hide display uh, names with this slider here. So why don't we turn off this overlay, uh, play a outro video, and 
that will be our demonstration of the live stream. So this is what it looks like when you play an outro video. Awesome. And now the video will be playing on YouTube shortly, which we can see. That's what our viewers will see. Now let's go ahead and end the broadcast.